Hey YouTube, welcome back. We're going to do a second website experiment and go through and just check out a few more of those websites that I suggest. We are once again using Loom, so I do apologize for any mistakes that there are. I have figured out how to edit, but I'm not very good at it on Loom. So this will be a raw video, meaning mistakes will be included and that will continue on. So let's start today over with Instagram. Here on our Instagram page, we can see that we started with a two mile project. I am going to repeat this one and a few others because these are things that are associated with the Gilmore School, which is something that we're trying to get more people to go and view their website, or in this case, their Instagram page. So let's look over here, two mile project. Two mile project is run by Mr. M. And he's asking that you go out every day for two mile run or two mile walk. And then you can share your pictures. Here are a few people who have shared, done some great work. A few other pictures. This is also part of the GRC, the Gilmore Run Club. So you can see some fun little pictures that they found along the way, some silly pictures as well, along with the fact that Mr. M tries to post up a few different accounts and get some more activity there. Go out, enjoy nature, be safe, and make sure that you also tag the Two Mile Project so that we can see what you are doing. Beyond that Two Mile Project, there's Mr. M's classes. It's at the Gilmore Run Club Instagram page. He has switched this over so that, that way you can actually see some of the activities you can do at home. And most days he does start with a joke. So any of these you can click on, it will give you a little brief synopsis and then you can watch the rest a little bit later under the Instagram TV. So you can go through and check that out later. Gilmore Run Club on Instagram. The last Instagram page that I'm gonna show you for today is the Gilmore Hawks with Mrs. Foley, who also goes by Mrs. O'Hearn. It's Miss Foley originally, Mrs. O'Hearn now. So you can go through Gilmore, Ar Gilmore Hawks art, and she gives you a few different ideas of fun drawings and cartoons you can make along with how to decorate a few things. So enjoy this, have fun with it. She also has her own Instagram page, so maybe from here you can find out where it is. All right, on to our main content. We're gonna start with BSO at Home. The Boston Symphony Orchestra has created this page where people at home can still keep learning and explore. They have some live performances that happen, or you can explore some of their musicians behind the scenes, other parts of their company. When you go through, click on any of these to read some details. There you go. Also, I apologize, I believe the loom is freezing a few times. You can walk down, listen to a few performances. Hello, my name is Suzanne Nelson, and I play second bassoon in the Boston Symphony. Bassoon. I hope everyone is making the most out of all of this home time. I realize we've been sequestered now for almost two months. And I hope that this little bit of musical history from 1969 comes to your brain. We'll distract you for at least a little while. These are real people from their houses working on all sorts of different videos, giving you information, giving you details back to performances that happened years ago, or a few of them somewhat recent. All right, so again, you can go through that. You can also click on the musicians, find out a little bit about them. They are using the hashtag stay at home. So back to Instagram, you can follow them on there as well. Please, please, please use this resource. It is a fantastic resource. Go through, tell us what you're using, what you like, and anything else you'd like to. All right, the next one we are going to is Tone Savvy. I am thoroughly appreciating this. In Tone Savvy, if you are a music teacher, you currently can actually get a free account because of coronavirus, which you can see across the page right now. 
But what I'm going to instruct my students to do and any other people who are working at home trying to learn a little bit of music, go down, read what they're about, then go back up to the top. Come over to where it says music theory. Click on it. You see all these different opportunities that you can click on. For right now, let's do a rhythm dictation. I'm going to click on the rhythm dictation and we'll do a really, really simplified version for this movie. All right, so for difficulty for this movie, we're just going to do a very easy one and we'll slow down the speed a little bit. You can adjust this for your correct level. And let's start the quiz. We'll do one quick one together. All right, click play rhythm to hear the rhythm after four beats of intro. For my students, that's four, four time counting one, two, three, four. So your higher first four counts are your metronome and the next sounds are your rhythm. Listen one more time. Then you take whatever symbols you think are correct and slide them up. As long as it's correct, it will add the sounds. If it is incorrect, you can keep trying. You can also come up here, and it doesn't just have to be rhythm. Go through key signature, skill building, piano keys. I know I've been posting some videos on your treble clef and your bass clef. That is note names. So have some fun with this. See if you can get better and better. From Tone Savvy, we're going to take a more comical approach and move over to Incredibox. Incredibox is an app, or you can also have it on the internet at incredibox.com, be able to compose some music with some beatboxing, some pictures, and just all around fun. We're going to try the web version. Now you can do all of this at home on your own, this one's going to be a short example. Just quickly clicking, oops, this one's locked. We'll go to a free one, sunrise. We'll let it load for a moment. Almost there. All right, here we go. So you see a bunch of men pop up on the screen. These men have no sounds associated with them. Each of their garments are going to be able to accessorize your music along with the way they look. Click and drag. When you click and drag, you can also see at the bottom a little line showing you when they can start their piece. You can also mute people or hear just one part. Get to put some clothes. 
You can also take it away and add another part. So for all of this, just have fun with it. There are a few examples. You can go through with all of these different particular pieces down below, their accessories, whether it's a hat or whatever else. And you can also drag and just pull them off. So Incredibox is a great tool to kind of get you listening and having fun, maybe have a dance party afterwards with whatever you create. I hope that you really enjoyed this today. I hope that you've been able to use some of the websites we've already suggested along with a few others. Again, Instagram is a great tool right now. A lot of artists are out there posting their content. Please make sure you're supporting small businesses, especially those around you. And if you see a business that you do like, share out their information so that we can grow small communities, whether it's art, music, phys ed, or whatever else. While you're at home, please stay safe. Please stay well and enjoy your time together. Until next time.